ऑर्थ्रोकाइनेटिक्स फोर्सेस ऑन द जॉइंट्स स्पाइनल ऑर्थ्रोकाइनेटिक्स टू मेजर जॉइंट्स इन द स्पाइन इंटरवर्टिब्रल डिस्क एंड द फेसर जॉइंट इन सर्वेकल स्पाइन द मार्जिन ऑफ द वर्टिब्रल बॉडी देयर इज अनदर स्मॉल जॉइंट्स दे आर कॉल्ड एज अंको वर्टिब्रल जॉइंट्स ओके अंको vertebral joints that means the vertebral body is there it comes like this the lower vertebral body projects like that and between this there is a joint a very small joint tip of the vertebral body okay at the lateral most margin of the vertebral body is small two small joints are there anco vertebral joints okay but they are functionally very less and mechanically they contribute very less okay embryologically they also develop from the annulus fibrosus it's a fibrous joint it's not a synovial joint okay the next one most important one is the annulus fibrosus and the nucleus pulposus which comprises the intervertebral disc annulus fibrosus is the outer fibrous structure arranged in concentric layers circular arranged and the one layer the fibers are not vertical in the annulus fibrosus they are arranged obliquely 45 degrees to the cartilaginous end plate outermost layer is arranged obliquely like this next layer is arranged obliquely in the opposite direction 90 degree to the next layer the central portion is the nucleus pulposus which is gelatinous and the annulus fibrosus is fibrous gelatinous one has 80% of water so it resists the compression nucleus pulposus fibrous one resists the stretch what directions of stretch because it is directed obliquely it will resist the stretch in an oblique direction that will happen when you have two structures and obliquely arranged so it will resist the shear forces okay distraction it will resist initially the fibers are oblique when you distract fiber become straight then they resist the distraction okay and then because they are obliquely arranged also they will resist the torsion the twisting force in one direction the next layer will resist the twisting force in the opposite direction one is resisting clockwise other other next layer will be resisting the anti clockwise multiple layers are there it's not a defined number that it is 12 layers or 15 layers okay it can be any number of layers for the annulus fibrosus nucleus pulposus okay and the annulus fibrosus is attached to the cartilaginous end plate okay and then the vertebral body margins of the vertebral body immediately adjacent to the cartilaginous end plate is the subchondral bone which is a spongy bone all of them take care for the compression nucleus pulposus takes the maximum forces after that the articular cartilage or the hyaline cartilage the cartilaginous end plate and next one is the subchondral bone in the vertebral body usually the disc takes the compression next the other level disc undergoes the compression if the force is too much then it goes to the cartilaginous end plate and the subchondral bone okay that is for the compression for stretch so when you are doing a flexion anteriorly there is compression and posteriorly there is stretch so posterior annulus gets stretched but annulus fibrosus is lucky though it is obliquely directed it is attached to anterior longitudinal ligament and posterior longitudinal ligament those ligaments are vertically positioned so anterior longitudinal ligament is vertically arranged the fibers posterior <laughs> longitudinal ligament also is vertically arranged so posterior anterior distractions distraction which is there anteriorly or posteriorly will be helped by anterior longitudinal ligament and posterior longitudinal ligament because they are attached closely with the annulus fibrosus so among the forces compression forces by nucleus pulposus cartilaginous end plate subchondral bone okay distraction force anterior longitudinal ligament posterior longitudinal ligament together with annulus shear force annulus fibrosus torsional force also annulus fibrosus but mentioning the anatomy the arrangement for the disc it's very important and the composition also fibrous the collagen type 
in the nucleus pulposus or the cartilage in the end plate, it adapted to resist the compression. So, it is a type 1 collagen. Whereas, annulus fibrosus has the type 2 collagen which will resist the stretch. Okay. So, that is about the intervertebral disc which is a synchondrosis, the type of joint, posterior intervertebral joint. Okay, the role in reacting to the forces on the spine. Okay, next.